Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. And I wanted to create this video because I've been doing a lot of Ho'oponopono sessions and I get a lots of people that come on to them and that's fabulous. But people are at different stages of their Ho'oponopono journey. And so I wanted to create this video so that I don't have to keep explaining what it is over and over again and I can just point people to the video and you can learn about what Ho'oponopono is through this. So my journey and what I have to share with the world is all about shifting from a state of automation, of um, survival, of um, subconscious programming and behaviours into living a much more conscious, self-aware, blissful, aligned, connected to source life. So the one is detached and out of alignment, the one is in flow and aligned. And everything that I do and I share and I coach and whatever is all about helping people to shift from that space into the more conscious, self-aware space. And Ho'oponopono for me is one of the tools that you can use to help you to transition from the one space into the other. It was originally, um, well, Ho'oponopono comes from Hawaii. It's a Hawaiian mystical um, tool that they use to help them to bring them back to what they call zero, to connect with source. And they have different words for it. I'm just using my own words to help explain. And I use the word source because I'm more spiritual than religious, um, but you are welcome to change that word for your own use into God or Allah or whatever it is that for you symbolizes that energy that I'm speaking about. But I'm going to continue to use source, so just change it in your mind as I say it. And the theory behind Ho'oponopono, actually before we go into the theory, I want to tell you a story about Dr. Hugh Len. And if you Google him, you'll see loads of YouTube clips and he talks about Ho'oponopono if you want to dive more deeply into it. But um, his history was that he um, was employed by an institution for the criminally insane. Now this particular institution had a really high turnover of staff. I think um, people you know, used to last a couple of months or something like that. I don't know the exact details, so please don't quote me on it, but around about that. Because it was so traumatic and stressful and awful place to work with these people that were criminally insane. And when he came along, he used Ho'oponopono. Now what he did was he had the names of all the inmates on a piece of paper and instead of going in and working as most psychiatrists would do with the actual inmate, he sat with the list and he'd read through each name and as he read it he would be very aware of what was coming up for him as he read the name and he would say the clearing phrase and the clearing phrase in Ho'oponopono is I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me and thank you. And he would do that over and over and over again for each of the inmates. And apparently after two years, they had to close the place down because there were no longer any inmates in the place. They had all left or whatever. Um, and that is to show you the power of this particular consciousness tool. Now, if for no other reason, I find it incredibly powerful as a, a pattern interrupt so if you're not into the whole spiritual thing and the energy and everything else, which I will speak about in a moment because I, I am into that, but for, if for no other reason all you're trying to do is to disrupt your sort of programmed thoughts, your beliefs and things like that, so that you can start creating from a clean space, then Ho'oponopono is brilliant for that. Because as soon as you catch yourself thinking something negative or thinking something in a way that you don't want to think it, you use the clearing phrase. And as you use it, it immediately shifts your focus onto something else. So for that reason alone, it is incredibly powerful. But to me, there is so, so much more. Because each of the phrases, when you say them, you're saying them to source and to the source within you. So when you say, I love you, you're saying it to the spark of pure energy, the eternal light within yourself. But you're also saying it to the eternal light and to the energy and to everything that is source externally with, um, from you. When you're saying I'm sorry, you're saying I'm sorry for my conditioned thinking, for my wrong thinking, for the way that I've inadvertently programmed myself to think through my lifetime 
that isn't really the truth of who I am, that is not the truth of Source. And you're saying sorry for it because you didn't do it intentionally. You didn't know that you were doing it, but you did do it. So I'm sorry. And in that I'm sorry, there's a relaxing around whatever it is that you've been attached to in the thought pattern. Then you say, please forgive me. And this again is to the source within you and the source externally from you, although it's all really one. But I mean, it's semantics and I'm not going to go into that. It is all one. And as you say that, there's a letting go of the thoughts and the patterns that you've been holding around this. And the final statement is thank you. And to me, there's so much joy and bliss in the thank you. And it helps me to resonate with Source. It helps me to reconnect and to be in that space with Source again. Um, and just going back to the I love you part, um, now when I say I love you, I feel so expanded. It's like I can plug directly into Source just with the I love you. Now, I don't know what the purists would say, um, whether you have to say the saying all the way through over and over again. But for me, sometimes I just choose a part of it and I say that particular part over and over again. If I'm feeling in a particularly blissful, connected space, and I'm not even really clearing, but I just want to acknowledge it and milk it and be in that space, I might just sit with I love you and just say it over and over again. I love you. I love you. If I'm particularly stuck on something, because I'm now at a stage when I can actually feel myself shift into my sort of subconscious patterning, because when I do, it's like I can't see the source around me. I can't see it in me. I can't see it in others. And it's like I've been locked in a bit of a room. When I feel like that, I use the I'm sorry. And I might sit with I'm sorry and just keep saying I'm sorry, I'm sorry, until I feel something shift and I can see and step back from whatever it is that I'm feeling engulfed by at the time. And then I'll move on to please forgive me and thank you. But I suppose what I'm trying to say here is play with it, feel it, be with it. And um, in my training, when I learned about Ho'oponopono, I, um, they show like a, a whiteboard and they explain that the whiteboard, the nothingness, that zero point, is what we all are in our truth and our essence. And that every time we think a thought, we put some sort of murky dirt on the, on the whiteboard and that the Ho'oponopono clearing statement is a way to erase that from your being, from who you are. And the more you do that, the more you raise your vibration, the more you're in alignment with Source, and the more you get to create from that beautiful, beautiful space of Source. Now, I'm sure I haven't covered everything in this video, but I do hope that it will help you to start understanding a little bit more about Ho'oponopono, and hopefully you'll come and join me on a free Tuesday Ho'oponopono clearing and experience it for yourself. If you want to access any more of my resources, and um, there are many, you can find them on my website. Um, I've got a number of free courses as well as more in-depth extensive courses. And if you're interested in actually really making sure that you invest in this transition from unconscious to conscious, then um, I also do coaching as well. And I'd be more than happy to have a chemistry call with you, a free chemistry call. So just pop onto my website and send me an email and we can arrange that. So much love from me to you. Bye-bye.